Across the U.S., COVID-19 continues to cause thousands of deaths each month and hospitalizes tens of thousands each week. But a recent study showed Paxlovid, an effective drug for treating the virus, has not been getting to those who most need it. And so people at the highest risk for being hospitalized or dying, they were many times more likely to get really sick from COVID than people who are the healthiest, you know, like 10 times more likely. But they actually got Paxlovid less often. Barnett cited patient education, access to COVID tests, and hesitancy among providers as potential reasons for the disparities. Because it's really a puzzle. You know, often as a primary care doctor, I need to talk people out of the need for antibiotics for like a viral infection. And now we have a viral infection that's both common and very treatable with a medication that works, and it's really hard to get it to people. However, the cost of the medication itself is also playing a role. Pfizer has set the list price at nearly $1,400 a treatment, and the U.S. government recently stopped directly distributing it for free. This has made Paxlovid harder to access, not only for patients, but also some pharmacies. Not only is it very expensive for small guys to carry, but the reimbursement rate is also not that great, so it's kind of a catch-22 for small independents. To pay for the drug, patients must now go through private insurance, government programs like Medicare and Medicaid, or a patient assistance program through Pfizer. However, some doctors and pharmacists, like Kirkus, are seeing patients fall through the cracks. So we have a patient that was diagnosed with COVID, so we did get a Paxlovid prescription and we ran it through, and on that person's insurance, it did reject out and say that the prior authorization was needed. The doc and the insurance have to chat, figure out what's going on, give some codes, can take three to five business days, and you, you can't wait for a Paxlovid prescription for three to five business days. The study estimates more than 16,000 COVID deaths could have been prevented had Paxlovid been properly utilized in 2022. Laura Barchfeld, Associated Press.